Now we're going to talk about how to export a GIF and we'll have to jump through some hoops to make that possible. As a heads up, we've had our creative fun and this part's going to be a little more technical. So consider this like the final boss for these introductory tutorials. To see where we want the export option to appear, click on File, Output Settings. It's about three quarters of the way down the list. That opens up this panel and what we'll want to focus on is under File Settings, this drop-down menu chooses what kind of file format you're going to export your animation as. Most of these formats are image sequences, which are great for bigger projects, not so great for sharing your work online, and note that GIF is not currently available. So we're going to close this down. <clears throat> to get a hint at what's limiting our options, I'm going to click File, and then I'll just try clicking Fast Render to MP4 here, and that's going to give us an error message. It says FFmpeg not found. Uh, OpenTunes needs a piece of software called FFmpeg in order to expand its export options, and that'll include the option to export as GIF. FFmpeg is an open source tool for file encoding. It doesn't come with OpenTunes, but you can download it separately and have them work together. I'm going to do the main demo for this on Windows, and then I'll talk about some differences at the end on Mac. <clears throat> To download FFmpeg, go to ffmpeg.org or just Google FFmpeg and it should be the top result. Once you're on the site, you'll want to go to the download page and then be aware this green button up at the top is actually not what we want. That gives you a bunch of folders of code and we need the actual executable file, which is going to be down under Get the Packages here. For Windows, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, hover over the Windows icon and then click Windows Builds and then click the blue button here for download build. Once the download is done, I'm gonna minimize the browser and then let's take a look at what we've got here. These are the contents of our downloaded zip file. Uh, and we're gonna to need to take this information and move it somewhere that OpenTunes can access it more easily. So I'm going to copy that and then for ease of access, I'm going to paste it directly into my C drive. Once it's there for cleanliness, I'm going to remove all these extra characters from the name so the folder is just called FFmpeg. If Windows won't let you do that, be aware there are guides online for granting permissions, and feel free to post questions in the comments. Uh, if you're curious, all that information we just took out of the folder name indicated the version number, and if you'd like to see a record of that inside that FFmpeg folder, that version number is still logged in the readme.txt file. Uh, so nothing important lost there. Uh, more importantly, let's take a look inside this bin folder, and in there, that's where we'll find the ffmpeg.exe executable file that OpenTunes needs access to to expand its export options. So now that we know where that's located, let's go back to OpenTunes and tell the program where to find it. To do that, we're going to click File, Preferences, and then we'll need to go to Import, Export, and this FFmpeg path is where we'll tell OpenTunes how to find that file we just specified. To do so, we'll click on this dot 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 button, and remember we saved it in the C drive, so I'm going to click My Computer, C, and then within that I'll choose the FFmpeg folder, within that we'll choose the bin folder we just checked on, and since that's where the executable file is, with that selected, we'll click Choose. All right. Now that that is linked, we are almost done. Uh, that's the information that OpenTunes needs to expand its export options. But if we check on our output settings again, we go to File, Output Settings, and check that drop-down menu. Note that GIF, unfortunately, is still not available to us. The thing is, we need to close the program and reopen for these changes to take effect. So make sure that you've saved. Again, we'll do Save All, like we talked about in the last video. Then close the program, relaunch, reopen that test v1 scene, and when we go to File, Output Settings, at long last, GIF is available to us in this drop-down menu. Okay, once we select GIF as our output format, let's take a quick look at our other settings here. All the camera settings should be fine, we can minimize that down. Uh, save in outputs means that the GIF we save out is going to go in the output subfolder of our sandbox folder. <clears throat> and then name is what it's going to be called. By default, this goes to our scene name, which we entered as test v1. Uh, for a little bit more clarity, I'm going to call this chicken v1. 
and everything else should be fine, so let's click Render. All right, once it's done, let's find the file. If we go to our OpenTune stuff folder, remember we are working in the sandbox, and then outputs is where our export goes. So if we look in that, there we've got chickenv1.gif ready for the world to see. On Mac, the process is similar, but with a few key differences. Uh, first, note you've got a couple different download options from ffmpeg.org. Here's what I suggest. If you click Static Builds, it will recommend that you use the download version with the long file name on the left here. I find it simplest to just download this as a DMG file, and when you run that, it'll provide the executable file you need, which you can manually copy to your Applications folder. Then, in OpenTunes on a Mac, the preferences aren't under File, but they're actually under the program name in the menu. You'll still want to click Import Export, and then you can assign the FFmpeg path to your Applications folder. Remember again to save, close, and reopen, and then you can export your GIF. So that's that. In future videos, we'll talk more about cleanup and color, which is fun. Uh, also project management, which is less fun, but still important. So stay tuned. I hope you find these videos helpful, and if so, subscribe for more tutorials and check out thundercluck.com, especially if you have any young readers or fans of animation in your life. Thanks for watching.